Hello everyone. This video describes a workflow that is introduced with Trimble 40 Control version 6.1. The new feature is about performing a site setup in T4D using the data collector module and this site setup is then automatically transferred over to the setup M1 if you're using the setup M1 for the communication to your total station. I would like to start with the T4D server UI and run you through the workflow. As always, in T4D server you can insert a module by doing a right click and select the proper module and you need to specify a configuration name. In my example it's Dam West, as I'm assuming I'm monitoring a dam. The connection type is setup M1 IST connect and of course if we establish the communication using IST Connect, we need to provide both the custom name of the setup M1 as well as the IST Connect user credentials. At the same time, we need to inform T4D about the setup M1 credentials, which are the same credentials as you would use them to connect to the web interface. In the next step, T4D authenticates, authorizes, authenticates with the setup M1 and retrieves configuration information like the serial number of the total station that is connected. You also need to specify a storage path because it's a file-based approach and the files retrieved must be stored somewhere. When you go to next, you need to specify a mission name. I also um, stick to the name um, dam west and I go to next. The round and alarm settings are okay, but I still need to specify a total station name. Again, the M West, okay, and then I proceed and click on finish. Now a new data collector module is inserted. As I'm interested in getting some processing results later on, I'm going to insert terrestrial engine real-time right away. And when I insert a terrestrial engine real-time, I still need to specify an input source. In my example, it's the data collector Dam West. And when, ins when it is inserted, the terrestrial engine real-time and integrity monitor is also inserted. So at the next step, I need to open the site setup right click site setup and then a window pops up with two options. I would like to create a new setup, specify the credentials again and T4D checks the user credentials and loads all available projects on the M1. I will just create a new one, I call it the M West and then I go to next and click on finish. The site setup dialog will open up automatically and in here I have multiple or I have many different um, options what I can do. So I can, for example, add new points. Um, and this is exactly what I would like to do now. So there is already um, Dam West, which is the total station um, point. And I specify as um, coordinates for this point 1000, 1100, which is the origin of my local coordinate system. As next, I will add more new points. My first uh, foresight point is um, called upstream one and it's a point type target. And I will, before I leave the point information dialog, I will do exactly the same for my other foresight points. So the second one is called upstream two and the third one is called upstream three. And um, so far, I only have a total station point and three foresight points. I still need to have at least one control point. This is my backside point one. And before I leave this dialog, I must ensure to make a multi-select. I click on OK and all the points show up in my target list. In the next step, I can I can then in the next step I can connect um, to the total station by clicking on this button. Um, you see it requests a total station control and it connects to the total station that is connected to my setup M1. Now I am connected. You see all the buttons on the right side are activated um, and I will now go ahead and define 
reference measurements for the newly added points. So I will start with uh, my backside one point. First of all, I specify the target height and the prism constant for this point. Um, then I will enable the laser pointer so I can easier find um, the point that I would like to measure. Then I will track this point by hitting the auto lock button. And last but not least, I will measure this point. So as I just said, I enabled the laser pointer. Now I turned the instrument to this point and I will now hit the um, auto lock button. This one, now the total station locks the target. You see it on the bottom left, um, auto lock target locked. And in the next step, I can then click on measure. Now it says measuring. Um, as always, um, T4D measures a new point that is added in uh, two phases. So, um, and the progress is also visualized on the bottom. So now it changes phase. So it has already measured in phase one. Now it is measuring in phase two. All right, so now I will do exactly the same for my uh, foresight points. First of all, I will change the order quickly. So I will start with um, upstream one. Same here, I specify the target height and enter some uh, prism constant and will then enable again my, my laser pointer so I can, I can uh, orientate my total station roughly at least before I, I log it by clicking on the, um, on the search button. Once it is locked, um, again, bottom left, target locked, I click on measure again. Now my point upstream one is measured in both phases. Changes to auto lock and then, yeah, changes the phase. Now it still measures the point in phase two. And I will just skip um, upstream two. So I did exactly the same for upstream two and I will jump right to upstream three. So once again, I turn on the laser pointer so I can orientate the instrument. Target height is zero again. Prism constant is the same prism as the others. So it's the same constant. Um, click the search button and hopefully the target gets locked. Yes, it does. And so I can click on measure. And um, also here now upstream three is measured in both phases. And you see on the upper um, part of the dialogue. So all reference measurements are available now. Okay, I still need to specify my station setup. Um, in my example, it's a station setup and I select backside one as my, my backside point. And now I can leave the dialog by clicking OK. You see the connection to the total station is released again. What else happens is that all the changes I did in here are applied to the setup M1. When I now hover over the data collector module, it says the scheduler is not activated yet. So do I, I do a right click, go to properties. And here in here, I can enable the scheduler. I say yes. And another window opens up. Um, here you can specify your recurrence pattern. For example, I don't want to measure on, on a Sunday and on the Saturday, so on the weekend. Round interval is set to five minutes and I click on apply. So also this is um, applied to, to the setup M1. And now the message says, waiting for next round. Okay, so everything is basically um, configured. And as we are waiting anyway, I will just um, switch to the setup M1 user interface quickly. Um, so this is the M1 I'm connected to and I'm using my, my user credentials to log in. So in here, you see monitoring progress is, is started. So it's currently measuring. To check this, I go to targets and there um, I should see some spinning wheel. Yes, I do. So currently upstream two is, is measured. And um, you also see all the points are available that I created in T4D. And if we look at the scheduler, same here. So round interval is five minutes. Sunday, Saturday is not 
a day to measure, so everything is applied correctly. Um, if I go back to targets again, you see now the last uh, measurement is taking place of this round. And if I go back to T4D, it still says at the moment uh, round measurement in progress, but the new information should come in in a second. Here we go. So this has just happened on the setup M1. And in, at the integrity monitor, I immediately see my results. Dam West is my total station point. Backside 1 is my backside point and the northing orientation of my local coordinate system at the same time. And upstream 1, 2, 3 are my foresight points. Thank you very much for watching.